Hi, I'm Adrian Salisbury and welcome to another Ecamm Live tutorial. In this one, we're looking at green screen. Now, I've just got a very simple cloth up behind me here. You can get little pop-up banners. The important thing is to make sure you light it pretty well. Now, you can see that's not perfect behind me. It doesn't need ironing out. Uh, but let's have a look in the screen here. So all I do is I come over here into my camera effects area and uh, I can tick on green screen. And uh, there is, if you're finding it's not working very well, there is this fade level and the further you push it, the more it will kind of take the edges off. But there is a point there, I'm at about 70, where it seems to be working well for me. Uh, and I can then, so there are some images preset into here that uh, Ecamm have put in. Uh, this is one that you see quite often. Personally, I don't like it. I think it looks really fake. <laughs> um, I, I wouldn't suggest this as a solution, but um, some people love it. Now, I used green screen recently in my YouTube Academy, and it worked really well when, firstly, I was having a bit of a fun. We called it a summer camp, so I'd got some images behind me of different camp scenes. And let me just show you how easy it was to pull those images in. I literally, I'm not dropping them up onto the window here, because um, that brings them in as a photo, but rather I'm gonna drag them over onto my camera effects area. I drop it on there, and there's my picture, and it's full screen sitting behind me. Um, wanna change that around? I just drop a different picture in. How much fun is that? Then when I started showing the campers how to set up their YouTube channel, um, I was able to screen share. And normally when I'm doing this, as you've seen before, I've got this, um, little thumbnail down here in the bottom corner. Now if I change this over to the wide version, so I'm in here, uh, I can put this on here and instead of having that office, I can say transparent picture in picture. And all of a sudden, look, there's me sitting here um, in front of my screen. And actually what I did as well, because when I point to my left, it goes off to the screen's right. Uh, I scrolled down here and I mirrored it so that when I'm pointing left, it goes off up to the left. Um, that is a fantastic way, you know, if I'm doing a tutorial on this, I, <laughs> you can actually kind of go, look, I'm gonna push the screen up and, and, and scroll the screen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being silly now. Uh, but it is really good, you know, if I'm talking through something and I'm here and I'm going like, right, over there is where you need to be clicking and doing that. Uh, it's just a nice way to do a screen share and um, bring myself into it without me being there uh, you know, sitting like this, taking up a good chunk of the screen. So yeah, that's green screen, that's how you can use it. If you don't want transparent, let's go back to, let's go back to just me on here. Uh, the other thing that's another option on here is this blurring the background, so it looks, does it look a little bit better? I don't know. Um, maybe when you've got a brick wall there, it looks a little bit more authentic. Um, who am I to say? Okay, so uh, there you go, that's how to do green screen. It's over there in that camera effects area. You access it from up here, if it isn't open at the minute, and uh, go have some fun with green screen.